talk to you about it today, okay? Romans 8 and 37. Vamos a Romanos 8 y 37. Go ahead and read it. Antes, en todas cosas, somos más que vencedores por medio de aquel que nos amó. Hallelujah. It says, today in all things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Hallelujah. Now, Ahora, I've read the scripture so many times. Hemos leído esta escritura mucho and tiempo. I think most of you probably have read it creo que as well. También lo han leído también. And we don't read the whole thing usually. Y no leemos toda la cosa, en verdad. Right? We usually, what we hear in our mind is, in, is in all things, en todas cosas, we're conquerors through him that loved us. And that sounds Dios pretty será. good. Es it's bien. pretty good to be a conqueror. Es bueno ser un vencedor. But we're missing the point. Pero estamos perdiendo el punto. We're missing the point. Estamos perdiendo un Now, punto muy grande. I, I was praying and praying and seeking God Pastor, the other night. Orando y orando, buscando a través de Dios. It was Friday night. Pero el viernes en la noche, the ladies were off at their todas las mujeres, the damas, estaban en sus conferencias allá. They were getting beat up. Nos estaban bofeteando, nosotros también. And, and, I was, and I was at home. Y él estaba en casa. Listen to Bree Bree sleeping in the crib. And praying to the Lord. Y orando al Señor. And he kind of beat me up. Hallelujah. But it, God is good. He's Pero so Dios good. Es bueno. And I think I, something I told before. That, <laughs> Some of you, God talks real nice to you. Just tells you how. Amoroso. Oh, te amo. No estoy bien. God doesn't talk to me that way. I, I can't remember if he ever has. Usually, usually he's looking at me like a pig dummy. Because I was praying and I said, Lord, I'm, I'm crying. I said, God, why is this so hard to win souls? Why is so hard? I waited and I cried. And, Lord, why? Why is this so hard? And he says, it's not. No es. Not for me. No para mí. He said, it's not hard for me. Me dijo, no es duro para mí. You do your job and let me do mine. Tú haz tu trabajo y déjame hacer mi trabajo. You see, Miren, we're trying to win people. We're almas. trying to win souls. Ganar estas we're trying almas. to fight battles y las batallas. that are already won. Que ya están ganadas. What the scripture says, ¿Qué dice la it says, in all of these things, Dicen que en todas estas cosas, we are more somos más than conquerors que vencedores through him that It says more Dice más than a conqueror. Que un vencedor. What does that mean? ¿Qué significa más que un vencedor? It doesn't mean you just barely no, made it. No se mi, se significa solamente la it doesn't llegó. mean we just barely won. No, it, it doesn't mean that no Jesus just barely beat the devil. Dios al, con el diablo. The scripture says la we're more dice, than conquerors. You know what the word really means? ¿Sabe qué significa la palabra de verdad? Overwhelmingly. ¿Qué decir sobre más? Overwhelmingly. Sobre más somos vencedores. I, I remember when I was in high school. Estábamos en la high school. I used to like to go to the basketball games. Le gustaba ir a los juegos de pelota. And hang out with my friends. And we're looking forward to a, a, one particular game because the, the other school always beat us. But we had a good team. We had a good team. So we're excited. We're going to beat them. We're going to We're going to have such a good time. And we win. And we, we won. But it was the most boring game. Pero fue tan aburrido ese juego. You know why? Because it was overwhelming. Porque era de más. We beat them like 60 to 20. Nosotros le ganamos a ellos de 80 a 20. It wasn't even funny. Ni fue chistoso. No, there wasn't fun. No fue ni con ni divertirse. Uno se pudo no pudo ni divertirse. Because. ¿Por qué? We just beat them. No le ganamos. 80 a 20. 
This is the way that Jesus beat the devil. Así la manera que Jesús le ganó al diablo. You understand me? ¿Me entienden? It, is, it wasn't like a close call. No era fue una it una wasn't like cerca. he barely made it. O apenas llegó. Right? ¿verdad? It was planned. Era planeado. We look back through the scriptures. Si usted mira las escrituras. God had it planned Dios that way. Ya he knew de esta manera, it was going to happen that way. The devil thinks he's beating you down. The devil thinks he's going to get you. Or at least he lets you he's going to get you. You see, we live our lives like we're on the edge. We're just, just a little bit ahead of the devil. We just barely make it. You see, what God showed me in that one scripture is that I was thinking like that. I was thinking that way. And you know what happens when you think that you're just barely winning? You really think you're already defeated. Yes. I mean? Because you're thinking is at any moment something could go wrong. At any moment I could fall. At any moment the devil's going to be And we live in fear. And we live in doubt. And we don't have the confidence to do the things that we need to do for the Lord. You see, we want to learn how to win a soul. But what God says is to learn my word. We want to, we want to learn how to pray. And God says, pray. We want to learn how to teach. And we want to learn how to teach, preach. But the Word of God just says do it. Why? Why the difference? You see, we're looking for a formula for success. But this is this is how you write a sermon. They got classes for that, you know? Yeah, they got classes. How many, how many classes do you think Pastor Paul had? How many do you think Peter had? Three. 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 What God wants to do. We, we're looking for the next book. It's like a good book. Come on. Teach me how to pray. Teach me how to win souls. I'm not saying something wrong with books. Okay? I'm not giving anybody for reading the book. But the book's not going to give me the answer. Every time I tell you, because if you're not already victorious, if you don't already have the victory, Brother Titus telling people, like myself included, saying, You just gotta speak it into existence. You gotta speak it like a soul. Why are you saying those things? Because he's already victorious. He's already, he knows we already got the victory. God's already given us that power. Now let's look, look back at Romans chapter 8. Just read, so I am persuaded. I mean, this read, they in all things we are more than conquerors. Through him that loved us. Now look what the next verse said. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels, ni ángeles, nor principalities, ni principados, nor powers, ni potestades, nor things present, ni lo presente, nor things to come, ni por lo venir, nor height, ni lo alto, nor depth, ni lo profundo, nor any other creature, ni una, ninguna otra cosa. 
cosa shall be able to separate us from the love of God del amor de Dios which is in Christ Jesus our Lord en Cristo Jesús, Señor. victory Victorioso. nothing Nada. he covers everything Él cubre todo. he covers life Él cubre la, and death la muerte y la vida. high and low That we're more than a kind. It says nothing. Just separate you. Not even sin. You understand? Me? The devil's got some of you convinced that your sin is keeping you away from God. If you walk away from it, it's got no power. It has no power. You can't stay in it. But if you walk away from it, you, you're more than a conqueror. The devil's got some of you convinced that at any moment you're going to fall back into sin. If you're more than a conqueror, you ain't even close. Not even close. He gave us the victory over the sin. We, we've got to stop living our lives. This, this is how some of us get up in the morning. What's the what's gonna bring it to face today? What's, what's gonna go wrong today? That's not victory. That's not a conqueror. Do you ever watch movies about Vikings? How about well, something a little more modern than you watch? Anybody watch Star Trek? The Klingons? They're just the Vikings, right? Their honor, their honor was in the battle. Their honor was in the winning. And their attitude was that they're going to win. They're going to fight. Well, they're not afraid. And this needs to be our attitude. Is that, I'm not afraid. Well, what's the devil going to bring you <laughs> What are we going to laugh about today? Because it's a joke. <laughs> That's all it is. You see? Because it's either we're laughing or he's laughing. It's only a joke. Okay. We give him power that he don't have. We give it to him. We give him the victory. Because we're living like we're already defeated. We're thinking like we're already beaten. Oh, oh. I just don't understand. What's wrong is we're already defeated. Lo que pasa es, hermano, que pensamos ya que estamos de Where we rise up and we see what we can do. But we spend all of our time busy. I want to do this. I want to be able to do that. I want to, do that. I want to, be, I want to learn how to do this. If you do what God tells you to do, what did God tell you? Did He tell us to win souls? What did He tell us to do? Compel, right? Go to the highways and the byways. Compel them. What's that word mean? What's it mean to compel? No? To convince them. How are you going to convince them? 
Huh? ¿Cómo la vamos a convencer? You gotta know the word. Quieres que saber you gotta read the Bible. Quieres que leas la Biblia. Quieres que orar. Seek him. Quieres que buscar la ley de Dios, pero más importante. You gotta believe. Quieres que creas. You already got the victory. Ya tienes la victoria. If you're talking to somebody, si tú estás hablando con alguien, like you're not sure, como que ellos no están seguros, what you got is the answer. Que lo que tú tienes es la la respuesta. They're not going to believe you got the answer. Ellos no te van a creer que tú tienes la respuesta. You ever sit in class and the teacher says, "Has sentido en la clase y la maestra dice, ¿Qué es dos y dos?" I don't know. No sé. Think about that. Because you got to believe it. Porque quieres creerlo, ¿verdad? And this is where the victory is at. When we're more than a conqueror. Jesus already won the battle. We live in our life as if every day is another battle. You know why it's a battle? Because you're too busy with your own things. You're too busy thinking about what's bothering you. What you want. Instead of what God wants. Instead of what the Word of God says. The Bible says to compel them. Que los conviertas, que vengan a la iglesia. Tú no vas a convencer a nadie. Si tú estás llorando, de tus mismas problemas. ¿Oigan lo que les estoy diciendo? Es algo que cada Dios está aprendiendo. Cristo 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 está aprendiendo. Stop complaining. Don't you complain to each other? Then we get a church full of discouraged people. Right? You complain to your family. How are you ever gonna win them? 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 How are you ever Tells us so much more than what. Hallelujah. Jesus defeated our sin. Okay, it's beat. All you gotta do is give it to him. If you're falling back in sin, it's because you choose to go there. You can't blame the devil. You can't say nothing else. You just gotta make a choice. Do you want God? Do you believe in Him? Or do you not? Because you already got victory over sin. If you want it. If you believe that you're more than a conqueror. One of the things that's most precious to me is that He gave us the victory over death. Again, we're not just talking about barely. Okay? Stop thinking just barely. We're just barely going to beat the devil. We're just, we're just barely going to make it to heaven. That's not the way it is. We're more than conqueror. Death. He has the power over death. If you look at... 1 Corinthians 15, verse 54. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 54. It says, so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory y cuando esto corruptible se haya vestido de incorrupción y este mortal se haya vestido de inmortalidad entonces se cumplirá la palabra que está escrita sorbida es la muerte en victoria In verse 55, oh death, ¿Dónde está, oh muerte? where is thy sting? Tú, acuño. Oh great, where is thy victory? ¿Dónde, oh, victoria? Now there's another scripture that I don't think we always read. Y yo tengo otra que 
verse, no the first verse we read, 54, isn't it? 54 es the last part. La parte. Read it again. Vamos a leer la otra vez. Death ah. is swallowed up in victory. So, sorbida es la muerte en victoria. Sorbida. What's it mean? ¿Qué significa sorbida? What's it mean? Swallowed up. ¿Qué significa tragar solo? Se lo tragó. It doesn't mean no just no más. we got victory. La victoria, it means death was swallowed up. Fue la fue it tragada. means nothing. Nada. Right? What happens when you eat your food? Tú, you chew it up and la swallow it. Tragas, it just goes away, right? It disappears. Te te and that's what I'm talking about. Y eso que te death, la it doesn't have any sting in it. It can't do anything to us anymore. Stop thinking about It's not, it's not a little battle. It's not something that the devil's going to get you this time and we're going to win next time. Stop thinking that way. We've got the victory. We're already conquerors. My name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. It doesn't make a difference what this life is like. Most of my aunts and uncles. Sus tíos, sus tías, and pretty big percentage of my cousins and primos, all serve the Lord, all baptized in Jesus' name, filled with Reyes, the Holy Ghost. Y en el Santo. Makes for makes for some weird funerals. Hace por unos funerales muy extraños. Because it's sad to lose a loved one. Porque es triste cuando se va un amado. But what you find is Pero lo que encuentra most of us que muchos de nosotros at the dinner after después de la comida sitting around laughing sentándonos, riéndonos telling jokes teniendo, diciendo chistes. Why? ¿Por qué? Because we worry. We know we're going to see them again. No we know they're curados. ready. Ya they're they're ready to meet listos. the Lord. Ya están para para and this is the way Señor. your life needs to be. Y eso debe ser tu vida. Because you're more than a conqueror. Tú eres más you, know, you don't just barely have the victory. No solo la victoria, but you overwhelmingly. Pero sobre más. Overwhelmingly. Sobre más. Are victorious. The things in your life. Las cosas de tu vida. You stop thinking about it. Ya no Start doing what God told you to do. What did he tell you to do? Compel the people to come here. Read the Bible. Pray. Ora. Be good to people. Se bien con las personas. Do these things. Haz estas cosas. Get your mind off of your problems. Ya no off of your de tu stuff. Vida, de tus you cosas. think victoriously. Listen. Miren. There's the one more thing. Okay? This is what we all get beat down by. Is we let the enemy. We let the enemy hold us down. I heard people. I've heard people say. When we went to Laporte, we had services over there. Said, oh, there's a. There's a there's a power over this area. We just, we just can't break through. Y no podemos quebrar en esa ciudad. And well, we believed it. Nosotros lo creíamos. And we we didn't break through. Y no quebramos. But what does the scripture say? Pero we just read. La, la escritura que acabamos de leer. Nothing. Que nada. Not principalities. Que no not powers. Ni poderes. They don't have any. What, what is the? What? Let me ask you. What is a principality? What does that mean? Es un principado, hermanos. 
Yeah, it's a kingdom. It's an organization. Right? Usually it's controlled by evil spirits. Right? By devil. By Satan. Right? But let me ask you a question. Who's Satan? Who's Lucifer? Who is Lucifer? What is he? Is it? Huh? He's an angel, right? He's a fallen angel. Well, you remember the scripture says he made man just a little lower than the angels. Why do we give the devil so much power? He's only got a little more than we do. Before you had Jesus. Why are we overwhelmingly victorious? Because the devil's only a little more powerful than we are. And he ain't got Jesus. We've got Jesus. Stop letting the devil run your life. Listen, the devil's got no power that Jesus can't break. We're not going to be talking about any principalities or anything that's stopping us from winning souls. You know why? Because we're going to start doing our job and we're going to let him do his job. We're going to spend more time getting out, bringing people to church, inviting people. We're going to spend a little less time trying to win them. Right? All we got to do is convince them to come. We convince them to come. Listen, we spend all our time trying to win somebody that don't want to be saved. If you spend that time trying to find somebody that God's going to take care of the rest. Okay? God's going to take care of them. So our job is going to be to seek them, to find them, to get out there, to bring them not stressing that we're doing his job. Stand with me. We can no longer allow the enemy to discourage us. We're victorious. We're more than conquerors through him. Jesus. Well, you have the power of Jesus. You have the power of the Holy Ghost. I don't, I, I don't have a gift of healing. I don't have any other kind of gift. But I don't need that. I just need to do what he asked me to do. Let him do his part. And you do yours. And you watch the sea. It won't be long. We won't have room here. We're going to be gone. We're going to be find another place. Because there are people that want God. There's people that are seeking Him. We just aren't spending enough time looking for them. Stop thinking about your problems. Your future. There's somebody out there dying. Somebody out there is dying. Go if we don't reach them in time. Somebody wants to pray. We're going to pray with you. Let's just seek the Lord right now. Hallelujah. Precious Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We pray, God, that you would help us, Lord, to do our jobs, to do what you commanded us to do. Show us, Jesus. Hallelujah. Just give us the courage and the boldness to go out and find the people, the 
are souls that are seeking for you because we know the word says the fields are white to harvest God. Hallelujah. Help us to see where we need to go to pick, to bring them in. Hallelujah, Lord. Help us, Jesus. Help us, God, to be not afraid. Help us, God, to put aside every doubt and every, every little bit of shyness. Hallelujah. And to be the conquerors, more than conquerors, that we know we are, that your word tells us that we are, God. Help us, Lord Jesus, to never, ever, never, ever give up, never, ever doubt, and no longer complain. No longer complain, because you've done so much for us, Jesus. So much already, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I just want to go further in you, Lord. I want to bring souls to you. I want to see more people giving you glory, giving you honor. Hallelujah. I want to see more people getting their names written in the book of life. More people filled with the Holy Ghost, Jesus. Strengthen me, God. Hallelujah. Help me, Jesus. Push me, Lord. Push me. Push me, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the name. I know there's somebody here that's, hallelujah, you know what? I, I said I wasn't going to have it, but I am going to have all to call. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody here lost a passion. Lost a passion for the Lord. Need to find it again. This is part of being more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. To recognize. If you're feeling that, if you're feeling a little bit lost, you're feeling a little bit unsure, a little bit afraid, come to the front. Let's pray together. Let's seek Him together. Let's find the way together. Don't pass up an opportunity. Today is going to be the day for this church to turn a corner. Today is the day that we're going to look back on. And we're going to say that's when it started. That's when it really started happening. But today can also be your day that you can look back and say that was the day. That was the day that I overcame. That was the day that I turned to the Lord. Really turned to the Lord. Don't let the enemy play with your mind anymore. Don't let him mess with you. He's a joke. And he wants to make you into a joke. You can't hide. You can't pretend anymore. If you want to move forward. Hallelujah, hallelujah. One more time, I'm going to ask you to come forward. Hallelujah, come forward and pray. 